Hello and welcome to our weekly look ahead at markets. And uh, uh, coming up this week is uh, the blockbuster central bank week ahead of the Christmas break. Uh, so we have the Federal Reserve, the European Central Bank, the Bank of England and the Swiss National Bank as well. So those are the four big hitters coming out this week. All eyes, of course, on the Fed. It's expected to pause. The market is very, very confident that it's going to pause. There's certainly no chance of a cut yet, uh, despite the market pricing in something like 100 basis points of cuts. Uh, next year. The question this this meeting will be around uh, a couple of things really. The First, the dot plot, how do market participants, or sorry, FOMC uh, policymakers, do they bring in the dot plot more in line with the, the reality, which is that they're not really going to 5-6, so they're sticking around that 5-1 level. Is that kind of where we're at now, or do they stick to their guns in terms of the dots? Do they still signal that there's another hike to come, or do, do we think that the barrier to hike, to further hike, is just too high to clear? I think probably the latter. Um, also, does uh, the, the statement from the Fed and the subsequent press conference with Jay Powell, do they push back against the market narrative right now? Now, we did hear Jay Powell in that fireside chat recently uh, attempt to push back a little bit against the market pricing and uh, aggressive rate cuts next year. Um, I think probably we're going to hear a bit more of that. The Fed doesn't really want the market to price in too many cuts yet. It's probably going to keep it on that higher for longer message until the last moment, until the last possible moment, and so that might be uh, later next year. But it doesn't want to signify too much, but at the same time, it doesn't want to start seeing uh, bonds selling off aggressively just yet. So there's a, a lot of permutations here, but really looking at those sort of those two sort of outlooks, is it pushing against the narrative or is it kind of leaning into it a bit? And then also looking at the dot plots as well. Um, the ECB, again, likely to pause. Um, and once again, really, the market's pricing in something like 150 basis points of cuts next year. Does the ECB attempt to push back against that? Communication's a bit more mixed with the ECB. It's not quite the same sort of communication channels that we have with the Fed. Individual central bank bosses from various countries are, are, have different views on these things. I think, you know, the, the idea that the Fed's going to, the ECB is going to be cutting early next year is a bit of a science fiction, but they uh, nonetheless won't want to uh, signal that there's further hikes. I think hiking is done there. Uh, likewise, B of E, uh, I think Andrew Bailey's going to be pushing quite hard against the cut rate cut narrative. He's probably going to push against that, the firmest of the three, just because inflation just remains too high in the UK. It's still uh, significantly higher than the euro area, which is down to two 0.4%. The US has a CPI inflation print coming up this week, so keep your eyes on that. That's on the Tuesday ahead of the uh, Fed decision on the Wednesday, so that will be important. It's, US inflation is running more like 3%, 3 to 4% uh, between the headline and the core numbers. We think maybe inflation might pick up early 2024, and that could be a headache for the market, for that narrative, for the bulls really chasing the Fed cut, the, the rate cuts into early next year because if you get a pickup in inflation then that will push back the that will allow the central banks to remain pretty confident that they're at the right level and, and as far as the labor market goes well you know we've seen that although maybe there's hints here and there of uh, cooing or cracking or whatever uh, is still not exactly at the, the sort of level at which the Fed will be panicking into cutting anytime soon. And then finally, Swiss National Bank, again, a drop in inflation likely means that they're going to uh, stand pat on interest rates uh, this coming week. So big central bank decisions looming. Also that CPI print from the US. Keep your eyes open for that one. That's it for now. Thanks for watching. Trade Global Markets Now 